Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You, and today I'm doing an om Omake episode of Mon Moose Quest Paradox RPG. I got requests on YouTube for how to go through Vanilla's quests here in Confrontation Chapter, and rather than link to oh a dozen different videos, all at different places in the timeline of course, I decided to do Vanilla's entire quest line through in one run. So let's start by going and recruiting. Look, it's Vanilla. She's so cute. And she has, you know, regular crap. Rocks, pine cones. I think shed bug skins. It's kind of crappy vanilla. Kid comes in, says it's crappy. Ah, oh, poor vanilla. Well, we don't want her crying, so let's figure out something to do for her. Oh, let me think. Did I actually finish this merchant quest in this file? No, I didn't. Well, this is something you'll need to do in order to recruit Vanilla. So let's do the Rescue the Merchant quest. Come on. Simple as that. Now once we've done this, we can go and recruit Vanilla. Vanilla, my shop is crappy and I feel crappy about it. Well, you should. Now, Sonya will perk up that we know people from the Merchant's Guild. So we'll talk to them. Yes, Vanilla's quest is just running around, doing stuff over and over again. Let's see. Those guys think that big bugs would be popular with that little kid that made fun of the Vanilla store. So we can find a big bug here, in this tree. Take it to Vanilla and she'll be all smiles. Because she will have impressed a little kid. Hey, this is pretty cool. Hey, this is pretty cool. How nice. But this just teaches her how little she knows about merchanting. So she's going to come along with us in order to learn the ways of commerce. By running around fighting monsters, I guess. Now, she's in our party and we can start on her quest. Now one thing you need to keep in mind is that when you're running her quest, you need to enter into her shop. Look, now it not only has weeds and acorns and pine cones, rocks, and shed skins, but also big beetles. Ooh, high ticket item right there. Anyway, she wants even more. She'd like to have medicinal herbs. Hmm, can you introduce me to some merchants? Try this again. Interesting fact, when you use a Harpy Feather to warp to the Mao Castle. When you leave the Mao Castle, you'll be right in front of Iliusta. So now, she learns the basics of mer mercantilism. Mm, no, mercantilism is something. Mercantile activity. And the merchant will also supply her with medicinal herbs. Isn't that great? Next up, she wants some 
Status recovery items. Herbs, you know. She feels a little guilty about going back to the same guy for the same stuff all the time, but... Yeah, we're gonna go back to the same guy for more advice. Well, you derp yard monster, why don't you go talk to a monster? And it just so happens... That the mandragora that was watching over the merchant over here will be willing to help Vanilla out and give her those meta those uh sadness recovery herbs. Mm. What's next? This is just a quick run, so I didn't actually pre-play this. So here you can see an antidote eye medicine and full moon flower. I don't know how they got high medicine from Mandagora, but whatever. Alright, in order to be a great shop, Phoenix Feathers. Well, we need to talk to a Phoenix girl. Bonus! I know a Phoenix girl. Hey, it's a Phoenix. Are you going to be my friend? Your clothing is all brack, so I'm kind of leery. Of course I'll be your friend. By the way, if we pluck your tail feathers, you'll grow big faster. You may recall that's the same trick that Don Dario pulled on Minnie. And Minnie's not going to fall for it again. Come on. Don't be a bad guy. Do it normal like. So blah blah blah. Gonna trade X many pieces of meat for X many tail feathers a day. So everything's worked out. Isn't that awesome? Alright. Back in Vanilla's shop. Phoenix Feathers. Next up, Harpy Feathers. Oh crap. There's anybody at the Harpy Nest. Yeah, I didn't do that in that this save either. Well, it's probably best I did it this way. I don't have a shortcut to the village even. I guess we're walking. Come on. That's so we have a shortcut to the village. Hmm. Did I do it or did I not do it? Or maybe I started it and didn't complete it. Nope, I haven't started it yet. So yeah, you're really that suspicious, Nero. Alright, I don't want to climb down all these flights of stairs. So, happiness village. Where is it? Right. There it is. That might not have actually saved me any time. Hey, open up, we have medicine. Your medicine great. Medicine is always best administered after a beatdown. Oh no, the queen's gone insane too. Alright. Hey, the flashback. Vanilla tagged something onto the end of that conversation. It may have been that she just realized, hey, we can do it now. Or maybe I'll have to do it the hard way. Nope, I'll have to do it the hard way. This will start the mission proper, so that we can go to the Harpy Village and actually get the Harpy Feathers this time. Yeah. There we go. Mm. 
Remember, you always need to know your way around. All right, you guys are harpies. You have harpy feathers, right? All right, great. We're good. So, harpy feathers as well as guidance strings. They're the things that let you get out of dungeons. Oh, by the way, I'm pretty low on harpy feathers. Better buy them. Now, next up is the flame stones, ice stones, and lightning stones. We could get them at Lustrum, but Lustrum is gone. However, that other Lustrum in the alternate world... Oh, is that a hint? That was a very subtle hint there. So... Whoops. This is where you can talk to this guy. Hello, I'm the Merchant Vanilla, etc, 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 etc. Yay, we got it. Um, next up, the Elf Village? What was it even called? Alright, so now we have Flame, Ice, and Lightning Stones. Oh, next up, uh, still more status recovery, well, medicines. One's an herb and the other is a medicine. We need someone who's good with medicine, but we don't know anything. Yeah, sure we don't. Um, where is it? Entity. This is another quest you'll need to do in order to complete it. Hmm? Oh, ha <laughs> ha. That little dialogue was what this girl here would say if you left the house after talking to the resident inside when we were looking for Michaela. However, I didn't actually leave the house. I just harpy feathered to wherever the hell I was going. So the next time you enter the village, you see that dialogue. Anyway, this little side quest needs to be completed for Vanilla's sake. Blah, blah, blah. Sure, I'll do it. I'm so lazy, I can't even be bothered to leave the actual village. So, somewhere around here, we'll find no, I'm not even talking about that. A healing shell! This quest complete. Bum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Now we can start the quest with vanilla. And it will pop up somebody. How about that dark elf from Enrica? Oh, that sounds good. I'm glad you thought of it, Luca. That's the sound of getting what I want. So in addition we have uh, waking medicine and oh this one's the mountain herb. Next up is the shuriken. But where can we get it? Hmm. It seems like it was being sold in Elias Port. Well, don't know if they will actually give it to us, but let's go talk to them. Elias Port. Hmm. <laughs> uh, no, not this building. This building. Yeah, right there. Shurikens. You know, I could buy 99 of them, like a hundred times in a row. Would that be good enough for you, Vanilla? No, of course not. Anyway, Vanilla. Greetings, I'm Merchant Vanilla. I'd like shurikens. Ah, uh, no, no can do. We're getting for, we're getting them from someone from Yamatai and we have an exclusive agreement, blah, blah, blah. 
because it's exclusive, I can't resell it to you. Sorry. Oh, well, that's too bad. Thanks for speaking with us. Someone from Yamatai. Huh. Maybe if we found somebody like that, we could do something ourselves. So in Ilya's temple, there is somebody from Yamatai. Yeah, a bored-looking samurai, actually. So let's talk to this random oriental-looking guy we know from the early, from the first town. Or at least, if not oriental, at least Yamatai. So, hi, Merchant Vanilla. We want to make some... sell some shurikens. He says, oh, it just so happens I make them as a hobby. And uh, my house is getting kind of filled up. So, yeah, take them off his hands. Yippee skippy. Maybe it's on Elia. So you can see here, shurikens. Alright, on the center of the continent, there's even better stuff. So seeing what there's available in San Elia. <laughs> Vanilla was quite excited by it all. So let's expand our roots. Oh yeah, sunny day. Uh, I don't even know where the item shop is, so... You, guy. Send me to the item shop. God, I'm so lazy. Hello, Margin Vanilla here. We want some... Herb Pluses. Or whatever it's translated as. Hi, Herbs? Well, if you want to do stuff in the Tali region, you need to go through the Elka company. Elka firm? So you better head to their firm headquarters, southwest to Monte Carlo. You're gonna need something to get in the door, though. Oh, so that's where the item shop was. Yeah, I don't know whether I did this in the beginning in this save, but if you do the bombing thing in Grand Gold with, of course, Razaro, you get in here for free. Yuck, yuck, yuck. It's Merchant Vanilla here. So, you want to Razaro's family's companions. So, I guess I gotta do it. Great. Hmm, next up is Sabasa, maybe? Yeah, there's... Oh, in addition to the high herbs, we also get boost drinks from that one. And, uh... Dashitsuna Shotsui. Anyway, it, it heals minimum status. This heals zombie status. Oh, we're getting quite the collection. Oh, and more elemental stones, too. What a haul, what a haul. Alright. At the item shop in Sabasa, there were Fuma shootigans. She'd like to sell them too. But rather than going to Sabasa's item shop, let's go to our shuriken maker. Uh, let's see. As I recall... Yeah, we all remember. This guy is remarkably pliable. So, Fuma Shuriken. So, in Magistea Village, there were darkness stones. So, let's get some holy stones and darkness stones. 
알겠어. 그레이딩스 더머션 바닐라 히어 라이닝 스톤 스타 라이트 라이트 스톤즈 앤 다크네스 스톤즈 플리즈 아 노, 우리 니드 앤 아브리 스톤 웰, 이 워즈 빙 딜리버드 히어 but it was stolen away by the scale bandits so you may recall them you don't actually have to complete this quest But if you haven't done it, you still get a cost of the entrance. Um, it's been a while, bear with me. Yeah, I think this is the right path. Is this the one? This is it. Agrist Stone. I don't exactly know what it is, but if they need it, then we get it for them. I mean, the fetch quest is a very basic of an RPG. Hello, Agrist Stone. Now give me stuff. So, yep, we're working now. Now we have light stones and darkness stones. I should already have the achievement for doing all of this. Ah, light stones, darkness stones. Okay, Grano shop. Gold needles and magic book pages. Oh, yes, I remember this. So she liked those in her. In order to get gold needles, we can go to the period pyramid. When we went there way back when, there was a scorpion selling them. And as for the magic pick pages, mm, let's talk to a book monster. Oh great, this again. I haven't recruited her. How oh, indeed. So yeah, I'm gonna need to recruit her. Sorry. Now, recruiting the, what is she, 64,000 page or whatever, requires you to defeat this battle fucker. I'll see you in a moment. Okay, I'm back. That was only a moment for you, but I failed the first time. I had to go equip tougher classes and muscle belt. But anyway, now I can recruit Cornelia. Hey, wake up. I need to recruit you. Yes, I have the book. I even beat Battlefucker for it. Now, um... Actually, you could just go fuck off. So, now that she's in our party properly, we can talk to her about magic book pages. Oh, if you want to buy them, I'd like this and this and this, blah blah blah. Okay, whatever. Now we also have to put that scorpion outside the pyramid. Hello, this is the Merchant Vanilla. We'd like gold needles. Alright, they aren't really selling that well. Yeah, a whole lot of travelers are going to come by the pyramid to be attacked by monsters. We're probably... Well, maybe there are other adventure events. Wow. 
Books. Oh, gold needles and... Are those magic book pages? Magic book pages. All right, Plantec Village. They had a mer merchant mermaid. <laughs> oh, but anyway, they, she was selling high-level magic stones. It's wind, earth, and water. Well, sounds good. Let's go talk to her. Plantec. So, oh, Merchant Mermaid. Greetings, I'm the Merchant Vanilla. Natural element, magic stones, please. Hey, I'm a merchant too. Let's talk conditions. So it goes pretty well. Great. Did you know that when you use a a harpy feather to come to the Mao castle. You spawn in in a different spot than if you come in from using the item or using the S button at the world map like I do. Not that that's really important. Okay, so what was it? Oh yeah. Level 2 Wind, Earth, and Water stones. Great. Right. Next up, Grungold. There we can get flame, ice, and lightning magic stones in level 2 variety. Hmm. That'll be pretty easy, right? Grungold, Grungold. No. I'm so angry that the guiding guy at this place won't actually send us. I'm skipping a step. I need to talk to the items. Here's the items. Unless I know you gotta go talk to those other guys. Hi, I'm Merchant Vanilla. We want stuff. Uh, you better go talk to the actual royals who... The royal researcher guys. Because they provide this shit for us. And now we have permission to talk to this girl. Hello, Merchant Vanilla here. Magic stones, please. Oh, you're with the hero Luca, right? We can give it to you for free. Oh, no, I don't do free. I'm a merchant. You're gonna take my payment and you're gonna like it. Hmm, okay then. It's not Succubus Village time yet, is it? So, flame, ice, lightning, in level 2 varieties. It is Succubus Village time. There's, um, purification water, let's call it. So, it comes from Succubus Village, let's go there. Right in front of me, guys. <sighs> okay. So this guy is a guy working in a village of succubi. Yeah, he's basically only got sex on his mind. But he does his job when he has to. Greetings, Merchant Fell and here we want holy water, whatever it's called. <laughs> yeah, it's our special made product from this village. Our town specialty, but we have a condition. Take some potatoes, too. We've got too many of them. Seriously. There's a limit to how much our store storehouse can hold. 
You've got that many potatoes? So it continues on. All right, so you'll be taking our holy water and our potatoes. Take care, little girl. Overstocking is as bad as selling out. Well, I'll inscribe that in my liver. Trust me, that makes sense in Japanese. It's a figure of speech. Oh, in case you're wondering, at this point you could go and recruit Fatima, the Queen Vampire. But we're going to be continuing on. I actually won't be showing the Fatima quest, it's pretty straightforward. Um, so, purification water, we'll call it. That's there. And down here in the crap, potatoes. Ah, oh, this one. The merchants that were dispatched from the elf village are hanging out in Yamata. And they have good magic stones of the light and darkness varieties. So, let's go there. Mm, Yamata. Remember to use those warps, like me. Alright, let's talk. Greetings, Merchant Vanilla. We want your stuff. Well, we can't really trade that to people outside of our village. But we have been given orders to cooperate with you here, Chris. How about we do an exchange? If you can get a silver dragon statue, it used to be held by a noble in our village. Then, yeah. Okay. It was stolen by Black Alice 500 years ago, by the way. Hmm. Yeah, there's the explanation again. So I guess I didn't pick it up in this side either. Uh, Mojo. Alt. I know it's on the second floor in the storehouse around the back. Silver Dragon Statue. Now back to Yamatai. You guys ever think to yourselves, hey, we've got too many fetch quests? No, of course you wouldn't think that. I have to do all the thinking around here. Hey, look! You guys are holding a silver dragon statue. Yeah, just like we told you. We also get 45,000 gold. Yippee skippy. All right, let's blow this bicycle stand. Is it time for um, snow heaven? It feels like it's about time for snow heaven. So, level two holy, level two dark stones. <clears throat> ah, snow heaven. Snow heaven's the last one. So Vanilla went to the item shop there and she couldn't believe her eyes. They have spirit medicine, or whatever you want to call it. The stuff that recovers your SP. It is super rare. In fact, there hasn't been a shop that has sold it until you get to Snow Heaven. So let's talk to these guys and see if they'll fetch quests. I mean, let us buy some. Um, here we go. Greetings, I'm the Merchant Vanilla. We like the spirit medicine. Well, that's kind of hard. We can only make enough to supply our village, you see. Now, if we had more spirit powder, or spirit dew, or however you want to translate it, then we could make more. So how can we do that? Well, we used to have this high-density stuff, but 
the last reserve we had of it was lost in the blah blah blah. Um, was it the create mention of creation or something? Anyway, it's this optional dungeon down here. Yeah, mention of creation. So this is the Holy Spirit powder. The densified version of the stuff we were just talking about. Raw materials. And then, uh, Okay, this should finish up Vanilla's quest. Hey, I remembered where the item shop was. Aren't you proud of me? So, you got the condensed uh, spirit dew. With this, we'll be able to mass produce the spirit medicine, so. Great. Thanks very much, etc., etc. So, we've done pretty well. Pretty soon we should... I should be thinking about returning some profits to the party. No, we can't take your money. That stuff is yours, then. Well, in that case, I'll continue to invest it. Hmm. Well, if you want to say you're paying us back, then become the best merchant in the world. Only that is worthy of me, after all. So, extending to more countries and more stuff, etc., etc. Good job, you finished Vanilla's quest. So, this has been PJ Black with No Expo for You. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.